Hello my viewers. I got a couple of requests to fulfill in this particular uh, video. Uh, one is kind of an odd request. Uh, somebody wants to know what type of uh, soft drinks I drink. And well here it is. It's Coke Zero. Okay. What can I say? My wife drinks it too. The other is uh, somebody wants to see exactly how a uh, control system on, say, a, a, a residential air conditioning system that has a 24 volt control system operates from the thermostat to the air handler and to the condensing units. So, um, now understand that not all control systems are the same. Okay, for example, this is not going to apply to mini splits because they have a completely different control system and this is not going to apply to just about anything commercial because they're usually on a computerized system and uh, but this will apply to most American residential air conditioning systems whether it's split that is duct that is okay or uh, a package system and um, I'm going to use my own air conditioning system as the example, which is an Amani heat pump split system. So here we go. It all starts right back in here. If I can get my fingers in there. Way back in here is the control transformer, right here. I got my finger on it. And what that does is it produces 24 volts of electrical AC power. What you have back here connected to the secondary side of your control transformer is two wires and one of them is going to be connected to the red thermostat wire and you see red and it's for R and you also have you also have one here that will be connected to your black thermostat wire if you have one. You could use blue if you have to. And it's going to be connected to the C terminal. So for your common, that is. That's how it starts with these two signals, R and C. So the control transformer sends this 24 volt signal, which is in the form of an R and a C, okay, being 24 volts hot and C for the, con the common, it sends the signal right to thermostat. Now, what exactly the thermostat does is, is it's sort of like a main hub, okay, of control over the air conditioning system. It takes the 24 volts and it controls exactly where that signal goes. Now then, if you get a G signal, then you call for fan, you get a G signal from the thermostat and will energize. The relay um, is back there so it's kind of hard to see, but you get a G signal energizing the fan. In the cooling mode, you get a Y signal. And at the same time, if it's a heat pump and if it has a reversing valve that is cooling active, you get an, an O signal. First, you do get a Y signal coming into the air handler, okay, before it goes out to the condensing unit. And you get also a signal, an O signal or B signal. For the reversing valve, uh, right here before it goes out to the condensing unit. When you do get a call for cool, uh, you get a Y signal from the thermostat and that energizes the contactor for the compressor. Also in a call for cool, if you have a... Uh, an <coughs> a cooling active reversing valve which would be call for O right here then 
you also get okay, a call for the reversing valve in the cooling cycle. In the heating mode, you get, again, a Y signal, a G signal, and if your reversing valve is heating active, you'll get a B signal. Okay? Of course, the wire might be brown or blue, but it'll be a B signal. Or who cares? It could be orange for that matter. To some air conditioning equipment, uh, you, a call for uh, reversing valve in the heating cycle will call for uh, a B signal, and that will do a similar thing. You also get an R signal, which will power the uh, defrost board, okay? And you also get a common signal for energizing the, or powering rather, the uh, defrost board. And also so that you can have a common signal going to the contactor. When the system goes into defrost, that's when you can get a signal for emergency heat, that's the E, or W2. And that will signal for the heat strips to energize back in the air handler. Then you get a W2 and or E for emergency heating to energize the emergency heat strips in the call for um, defrost so that cold air doesn't come out of the vents inside the house while the system is in defrost. Or if the thermostat cannot keep up with the set point, you'll get a W2 signal as well, which will energize the heat strips.